What are NFTs and how is Funko involved with them? Let's talk about it. We want to start this video off by telling you NFTs are a brand new thing to Heather and I. We're just learning about this stuff and we're just going to tell you the information that we know that is in regard to Funko because we are a Funko news channel and we want to have this discussion right now. So we're going to tell you what we know from where we know it and how it's going to affect you possibly in a way where it's effective. What? I don't know what I just said. I was trying to sound very smart, but I didn't. You never do. Don't even try. So an NFT is a non-fungible token. It transforms digital works of art and other collectibles into one-of-a-kind verifiable assets that are easy to trade on the blockchain. Heather and I were actually talking about the NBA Top Shots the other day, and we had no idea what that was. Apparently, NBA Top Shots are digital cards, digital collectible cards. And in fact, while looking up NFTs today, I found out something interesting. NFTs can represent represent collectibles like card collections, but in a digital format. In February 2021, a LeBron James slam dunk NFT card on the NBA Top Shot platform sold for $208,000. Why? Because people want it. It's a, Now it's like a form of money, but in a collectible digital art form. I'm reading all of this off of Wikipedia. This says digital art was an early case for NFTs because the ability of blockchain technology to assure the unique signature and ownership of NFTs. Digital artwork by Beeple sold for US $69.3 million in 2021. So NFTs are a huge thing in our world. And apparently Funko collectors are going to start seeing bits and pieces of this based off of what Brian Mariotti is saying. We are going to read his direct words from Yahoo Finance. And this is something we all need to know because it is very important as Funko collectors. But first, check this out. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to see how you can support this channel. We have three different tiers to offer, with the top one being level three. That is the most bang for your buck. You get a live Google Meet call with the Gasocast one Saturday out of the month, and with that call, you get an awesome giveaway. You could win all sorts of things. Funko Pops, Tiny Ghosts, Aboundable Toys Chomps. You never know what we pick from our prize stack. Also, at the end of every Gasocast video, you will be included on a thank you shout out. So head over to patreon.com slash Gasocast to find out more. Brian Mariotti was answering a bunch of questions on Yahoo Finance in regards to Funko earning 6% year over year, earning $226.5 in revenue, which is a really big deal in itself. But during this conversation, he mentioned NFTs and Funko, and this is something that we should all know right now. So Brian is asked about these NFTs and he responds, we're excited about it and we have a plan in place. We have some technology in place. We're going to be out in the market fairly soon, but we're going to be out in the market in a very different way. We have the ability to disrupt this space in a way that nobody else is doing right now. We can tie digital NFTs to our fan base and link entities with physical products. Interesting. So these digital NFTs will be attached to, say, possible Funko Pops. And he continues by saying, and that's not happening right now. So for example, we had a pack of NFTs. I won't mention licenses right now, and there's a few rare ones. If you have those rare ones, we're gonna give you a free product that's tied to that rare NFT, which means you have a super rare physical product that ties to your super rare NFT. That's disruptive, that's new, it's different, it's only what Funko can do. So Brian's saying that NFT is gonna be a huge part of Funko very, very soon because that is where everybody else is going. Why not Funko? Can you imagine having one of these one of a kind like NFT digital pictures or whatever that goes along with your actual Funko Pop? So it's like a digital collectible and then a physical collectible. That'll be really interesting. Isn't this a weird wave of the future? Yeah. Did you ever think you would be collecting something digitally? I mean, in the past, I remember collecting like MP3 music. I would like rip my, my CDs and, and stuff like that. And I would collect all my music on my computer so I could listen to it on my computer, make playlists. That was like a collection for me way, way back when. But this is something entirely different. 
Yeah. What you just read makes it sound like the physical products will only be tied to the ultra rare NFTs. So it sounds like you're going to have what, you know, your commons, which will be your NFT commons, mm -hmm. but the super rares will come with super rare Funko Pops. So be it that they're like, I don't know, like one of 100 maybe, like is, is that super rare? Like one of 25, you know, because Funko Pops sometimes can be within like the tens. There's like one of 10. Could that be the same with the NFTs and the Funko products that go along with it? Anything that Funko offers right now could be wrapped up into this. That's really exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what exactly all of this is because I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what you just said. Well, we'll get into a little bit more of that, but first watch this. We have partnered with Collector Zone to bring one lucky winner a deluxe Captain Marvel Hot Toys. Just follow these six steps to find out how you can win that along with a bunch of other prizes such as this abominable toys lava chomp head on over to collectorzone.com to see all the collectibles that they have today okay so i was looking at the list of highest prices paid for nfts and it looks like the year of creation was in 2021 march 1st so not too long ago and the adjusted price was 69.3 million and this was for every day's the first 500 days it's a jpeg that was created by Mike Winkleman, known professionally as Beeple, as we mentioned earlier. This work is a collage of 5,000 images created by Winkleman for his Every Days series. A non-fungible token representing Every Days was sold for 69.3 million at Christie's in 2021, the highest price paid for an NFT and the third most expensive work by a living artist. I don't quite understand all this just yet. It's, I'm still wrapping my head around buying something that's digital like a JPEG. Like, yeah. it's crazy, but it's still considered like cryptocurrency. Can I sell one of my old MySpace pictures for that kind of money? Heather, if you were a starving artist, yes, maybe you could. So do I just not eat breakfast and then post it? Yeah, I think that's the way to do it, actually. So there's the JPEG. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's 5,000 pictures. Here's sort of like a definition that might be better for us to understand. The basic idea of technology is fairly straightforward. An NFT, which stands for non-fungible token, is like a certificate of authenticity for an object, real or virtual. The unique digital file is stored on a blockchain network with any changes in ownership verified by a worldwide network and logged in public. This means that the chain of custody is marked in the file itself permanently and it's practically impossible to swap in a fake. I wondered about that because if you're making all this money off of these like digital collages, how easy are they to fake or to, you know what I mean? Like to do nefarious things. By contrast, Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies are fungible tokens like a US dollar. Any Bitcoin is equal to any other while NFTs are one of a kind. So that's what makes it very different. And maybe that's how Funko is going to capitalize on all this. So they're gonna make a one of a kind digital token that'll also be somehow attached to a physical item, making it also rare. Will the item and the token be worth the same amount of money? Do they actually have to be together? Meaning the owner must have the token and the physical item. How's trading gonna work? It makes me wonder because of all the money that's kind of infused in all this. It's different than just having a Funko Pop and you're trading off. You actually have a digital piece of information that's tied to you. So all of this is really weird. It's all very new. And I really don't know what to think about it just yet. However, I will say that once all of this becomes available, I will definitely want to jump on it for at least one item. Hopefully it's not like 69.3 million, but I'd like to buy at least one to know what it does and how it works. Yeah, but it sounds to me almost like you might get something that is very valuable. It's like getting a chase. So you can go on amazon.com, buy a Funko Pop for $9.99, and if you get the chase for $9.99, that's great. Like that sort of thing. That That's how I'm imagining the rare ones to be, but I don't know. Well, I wonder if there's gonna be like a Funko NFT.com or something. And then you go there and that's where you buy all of your NFTs or your digital tokens. You buy them there and then like there's like a store and you just buy them and it's completely random. Do you buy like your favorite character with the expectations of will I get a chase? Do they all come with chases? The super rare one? I mean, 
there's so many questions on how this works. And of course, Brian Mariotti isn't clearing anything up yet because it must still all be completely in the cards and they're probably trying to plan everything out. Yeah, I'm so confused. We are really super confused about this. If you know anything about this, we would love to know more. If you could point us in the right direction or even comment down below, giving us a little bit more understanding, that would be super awesome. But for now, I feel like I have my head wrapped around it enough. I feel like I know enough right now to get me by until they finally do release. It sounds like you're dead in the water. Yeah, I have I have no idea what any of that means. We're old, Heather. It takes us a while to figure it all out. We belong in a museum. Guys, what do you think about all this NFT business? Do you even know what they're talking about? Let us know all of that and more in the comments section down below. Guys, there's an awesome giveaway going on that you need to know about. The Gasocast, the Office Orientation, and the Office Funko Pops on Instagram have all combined their powers together to give away one super cool Funko Pop. It is a Daryl Philbin from The Office Funko Pop signed by Craig Robinson. Head over to Instagram, follow all three accounts, and follow the steps in the picture linked to the giveaway. You don't want to miss it. Guys, are you looking for the perfect Funko Pop Funko Soda or Funko Mystery Mini? Head over to PoppinOffToys.com. They have all the Funko Pops you're looking for. PoppinOffToys.com. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.